I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Origin 315P customization options offered in Alpha 3.5.1, and we're starting right now. Origin Jump Arts, at your service. Core system, operational. What's up, citizens? Welcome to a Star Citizen's Guide to the Galaxy. Alpha 3.5.1 has reached PTU access for subscribers and concierge. With this comes customization options offered on the Origin 300 series. In this video, I will briefly overview the options and prices available to you on the 315P, including color, trim, weapons packages, and finish up with a look at what we built in-game. Stay tuned for my full review of the 315P coming soon. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Alright, let's take a look at the customization options for the 315P. Then go ahead and click customize down here. Whoop, I'm back. Go. All right, so we've got our standard colors of uh, Thunderstorm, Scarlet, and Citroen. These, the I know the Scarlet and the Citroen are available on the 300 series also, but this is its base color with the color scheme we're more familiar with. And uh, the Origin Celebrated colors comes with Nightshade, Black Rose, and White Lightning. Pretty cool. Now those are different depending on the the particular model. So the 300 series uh, and the 325A and the 350R have their own Origin Celebration uh, liveries, if you want to call it that. And then you have the Premium Metallic um, Electric Blue and Monarch. Those give you an extra dollar. And the metallic is $2. And you have Ultramarine, Obsidian, Sterling, and Moonlight. I'm going to go ahead and go with the standard, just so at a glance you can look at it and tell it's a 315P. Um, okay, so for the cockpit, this is an exploration ship, so I'm going to want to be kind of comfortable. So I think I might go with something more luxury maybe just stick with a standard wood grain now i'll go with this uh this aluminum like a brush steel type type deal it looks pretty cool kind of matches the outside too and uh as far as the inside you can change the steering wheel from sport to standard you can also click this arrow here uh, i know you can't see oh you can't see my mouse okay uh, you can click this arrow to get another view of the steering wheel so you can see both sides of it. And uh, I'll go ahead and go with the Sport. I mean, why not, right? I'm using free money. Um, by the way, I'm doing this on the PTU uh, website. As far as the seat, um, let me switch, switch views here. Oh, that's cool. When you change the seat in that view, it shows it there too. Yeah, this looks really uncomfortable that sport model one I would not want to have an exploration ship with that so I'm gonna stick with the standard and okay I'll go with the with the brown let me see what the premium looks no I'll go with the premium premium white and the finish let's see we got wood grain so that changes the origin logo if we switch around to the uh, is there a back side ah oh, there's a, there's this side is, yeah here's the back so you can see those changes there. So we have an option for carbon fiber, uh, blue, yellow, and carbon fiber yellow, which I guess they don't have an image for that because it disappears. But we can imagine what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the yellow. All right, switch back to, oops. Oh. Maybe black does look better. Yeah, because the yellow doesn't really show up on there. On there. All right. Then, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the yellow trim. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay. All right. Let's go to our next deal here. So, by the way, these premium colors are another dollar. The metallic colors on the exterior are two dollars. The premium colors are a dollar, and the sport seat would be two dollars. But I'm not going to go with that. 
and you also have the premium seat, which is another dollar. So just throwing throwing our dimes at them. So with the finish here, oh, we've already put that. We want the yellow. All right. Next, we're gonna take a look at the bed. So we have the Sonata gray bed sheets and the Sonata white and gray that are included, and we have Lullaby gray, Lullaby white and gray, Nocturne gray, and Nocturne white and gray. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Lullaby Gray. That is an extra dollar. And now we're getting to the weapons packages here. So there's three different loadouts. There's the classic, the 315 PGT, the 315 PXC. So we got three different ones. The classic comes with one uh, a Sonic Light power plant, heat safe cooler, a shimmer shield generator, and a Goliath quantum drive. And for weapons, you get your Sure Grip. Uh, tractor uh, beam there, size three, with a size three uh, sawbuck shredders, or I'm sorry, shredders, the ballistic cannons. Let me click on this actually so you can see the image of it. There we go. So uh, you got your your shredders, uh, your missile rack with Tempest twos. That comes for free, and then if you want to pay sixteen dollars extra, the three fifteen PGT comes with the Sonic Light uh, power plant which is the same as before, and the Vapor Block Cooler, the Shimmer Shield Generator, and the Colossus Quantum Drive. So it looks like they changed the power plant and the, or I'm sorry, let me look again. Okay. So they changed the uh, cooler and the Quantum Drive in this GT. And we still have the Tractor Cannon, of course, that's gonna be on all of the packages. And we get a gimbal mounted, a, a gimbal mount with a size two distortion cannons, a missile rack, and Dominator tubes. Uh, I don't know if I would go with this one. I don't need distortion cannons on my 315P. Um, uh, so we get uh, with the final one, the XC, which is only six bucks. So I guess they have these in the wrong order. Um, apparently, this one isn't going to be as great as the as the one before. Uh, you get the Delta Max power plant, the Vapor Block, the Shimmer Shield Generators, the Siren Quantum Drive. Uh, of course, you get the Tractor Beam and Mantis GT220s. I think I would like to have this better. Uh, and you get Tempest 2s. So for me, it'd be between the Classic or the Mantis gt 220 So the question is, would I want GT220s or do I want the Shredders? Um, that answer is going to depend on how good I am. And I am not the best, so I'd rather go with the um, with the Mantis GT 220s. So if I miss a couple shots, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's go down to decorations. So we have the uh, Fresh Brew Coffee, the Food Maker Duo, the Octavia Sound System, and the Curve Metal uh, Picture Frame, and the Display Clock. So I'm going to go ahead and click all those just because I'm using free money. I'm not actually spending my own. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and add it to cart. All right, so we're here at the console. We have the 350R that I own, uh, Reliant Core that I own. I don't know where my other ships are, but uh, the 315P that we just built is here. I'm going to go ahead and retrieve it. Yep. All right, boys. So here we have it. Our 315P that we built. Love the color scheme for sure. I'm glad that I stuck with the 315P colors. That gray looks really nice. So on the front, we got our tractor cannon. And we have our Mantis GT220s on the wings and what looks like an infrared missile forget what that one's called let's take a look at the back nice i love what they've done with the new rework i do wish that we didn't necessarily have the options to change the accent color so that you were kind of forced to go with the default color scheme um so that you know you can look at the ship at a glance without having to read anything and see what it is. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside.
Actually, well, all right. Don't really have the option. Let me go back. Eh. Uh, let's take a look at the storage under here. Lower it down, and we have our eight SCU of cargo space here. And then I think the way this works is you open up the second part to get the other four, I believe. So a total of twelve SCU of cargo space. Um, I'll type. I'll write on the screen what it actually is. But here's your cargo hold here. Pretty cool. Close that one. Close that one, and now let's head inside. Step back so we don't die, just in case. I think they might have fixed that, but old habits. All right, so I already have the ship turned on. So as you can see, you can see our yellow accents. Nice 315P color scheme here. Uh, let's go ahead and sit in the pilot seat. And, oh, look at that. Okay, so, yep, you got our four MFDs. The radar is missing. I think that's a bug. Um, it's not supposed to be like that, but I'm sure they'll fix that. Everything else, I mean, is pretty standard here. You can see our steering wheel that we picked, the sport steering wheel, the basic chair, the seat. All right, so let's hop out. course if you've never seen the inside of the 315 or the 300 series before you got our toilet there and we've got our bed with our clock that we picked out uh, the time there shows 815 and oh look at that oh or it's supposed to be no that is not my time at all so that doesn't actually show you time um, can I do anything with that nope can't click anything there. Let's go ahead and enter the bed. Oh, nice. It retracts out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, nice. Folds in. Oh, look at that. I did not know that. If you've seen my uh, other videos, I mentioned that it would be nice to use this TV. This is why... When you pull the game data, the 315P or the 300 series has a crew size of two now because it accounts that someone in the bed can actually go in and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually functional, but you can make changes to the ship. I don't think that this is going to carry over, but we'll, we'll definitely see. Let's go ahead and hop out. It looks like the change that we made from the bed made a change in the MFD here. So I actually adjusted the shields from here. Or the power, I'm sorry. Look at that. How about, I want to keep this video short, so let me move quickly through here. Uh, everything here is standard, nothing changed. Uh, there's a gun rack, but it. I'm not sure if it's functional. I can't pull a gun out in the armistice zone. We open this, oh, okay. All right, come on. I don't know how that happened. Please don't tell me the server's dying on me. All right. We got water bottles in there that we could pick up. Uh, let's see, pick up the coffee, place it. Cool make coffee cool beans so I wonder is it just gonna fill up that cup like what's what's gonna happen nope nothing all right that's our sound system there Let me see if I can, can I interact with it nope Just move that out of the way. Nope, can't interact with the sound system. You can interact with the food processor. All right. Got some storage there, and of course, a nice big sunroof. I love this new design. 
It really is good. So what do you guys think of the new 315P customization options? What do you think of the prices? Is this just another way to get more money out of us? Will these options be available to purchase in-game as well? Let me know down in the comments. Did you like this guide? Like it. Consider subscribing by clicking the circle here. Check out some of my other videos in this series here. And if you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel further, check the description for ways to do so. However, your viewership is more than enough. Until next time citizens, I'll see you in the verse.